Oh, wait, matter of fact, hold on a minute, Mr. Chair. I'm going to give you the floor because I'm going to walk away. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Listen to this. I want to, Keith, I want to say something to you and Sister Terry right now. What you want to say? I want to say, did, 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 this is, to me, this is so, this is so crazy. We got to figure out how we're going to handle it. I'm riding with the church. Why am I riding with the church? Because the church, we have always been careful with prophecy because we see what Joel said. We see what Isaiah said, and we see how Matthew and Paul and them interpreted what they said. The Pharisees thought it was going to come about one way, and they missed it because it clearly came about another way from the coming of the Messiah, almost everything with prophecy. So in the church, we're extremely cautious with how we move forward with prophecy. Only crazy, correct. some crazy Pentecostals, correct. they run amok with prophecy. These people put a heavy lean on prophecy that we know comes I'll come the way, because the Pharisees and them, they were Israel, they were God's people. God's people saw it a different way. His own apostles said, Lord, would you at this time restore the kingdom? They thought it was going to happen one way and it happened another. So because of that, the Christian church is careful. We don't put heavy emphasis on prophecy like these people are building this whole nation thing off of prophecy. And prophecy, often it comes about, but it can come about in a way that we don't expect it. Jordan is, all Jordan is talking about, this prophecy here, all they talk about is that millennial reign. And they they always go into prophecy in the Old Testament. This whole movement is built off of prophecy. And prophecy takes or precedence over context. Like he said, they hold prophecy in, in too high of a regard. In too high of regard, especially in light of how prophecy was manifested and Peter and them saw it and it didn't happen the way he thought they was going to saw it. And that first century Israel. And we follow those prophets. We follow those apostles. So it, to me, they, they put too much weight on prophecy. It's too dangerous. It's too but, certain. But everything I just read was from the New Testament. No, but I'm yeah. talking about. Good. I'm you explain. You understand what I'm saying, Colin? Yes, I fully totally understand. You are 100, Bahrain. I, I, I correct. I agree with you. Uh, and they're they're leaning on prophecies. And, and I even seen some Hebrew Israelites try to apply messianic prophecy to themselves. And like, then you, other yeah. portions of scriptures that's not even hey, prophetic. Hey, that's that's hard. Hard. I'm that's scared. Hard. I'm scared. Did the Israelites did the Israelites before? Um, did they did they um? Look forward to a D Davidic Messiah to come. Yes, they did. Okay, then where he and came. Then he came hold on, and he came in their time, but and he came and, on. and he came and he was and he left and they didn't even understand. After walking with him three years, they said, "Will you at this time restore the kingdom?" They but still didn't what? understand it. But guess what? That that don't takes away from their understanding that they knew he was going to come again. They well, well they, they, of course that was going to come, but, but what Bahrain but they is saying is... That, they look forward to the second coming also. But but here's the thing. Yeah, they knew that someone from the Davidic line was coming, but they expected him to come like a conqueror, and he didn't. You want to know why, Keith Jefferson? Because they were stemming off of prophecy. I said, don't make a difference. Up, you can say up, anything up. now. Oh, you can say God. anything now because it's after the fact, Jordan. You miss it, and y'all stay missing the whole point. He don't even see the point I'm trying to say. I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. I'm and, scared. And the yeah. thing is, is even, even, is. even the best theologians would tell you that. that well, check especially when we deal with Revelation. Yes. Especially when we deal with Revelation. They, they would tell you. This is basically an educated guess what happened because you can say prophecy going to play out this way and it's going to play out totally. And theologians are very transparent about that. And we've seen it too many times in the Bible. I'm going to see this. I'm going to say this and I'm going to go to sleep. I feel like the reason why they didn't understand it, like you just said, the way you said, because when we go back into prophecies, we understand that that's, that's directed to most of them are directing to a sunken second coming of Christ. Some are the, some of them are directing to the coming of Christ when he came the first time. And some of them prophecies were directed to the Christ, Christ coming the second time. So Jordan, like, the only hold reason on, you could, hold the on. only reason you could oh, say God. that, the only reason you could say that right now is because he came. They thought one coming was one coming. You could say it and break it down now because it's after the fact. Yeah, Twenty minutes. Oh, boy, I'm gone. That, that's what I'm saying. They could have had it confused. That's why they didn't understand.
understand what was going on. They was looking for Christ to come back and conquer at that time, but they they, they overlooked the prophecy of the of the time that He was coming back to redeem them from them sins and they and lost. That, and that's true and just because like they look at it right now, Jordan. How yeah, they're looking for. Oh, hey, I'm finna go to sleep. Good night. Good night. I'm going bed. to sleep. I'll talk. You, no, the, Okay, you want me to answer this, these two verses, Brother Barain? No, no, let Keith hear yeah. what Keith was going to say about that. Oh, I'm Brother Keith. Go ahead. Uh, oh, Keith, sure. you I, I, I mean, so what now? What are you going to say? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand how high they hold these prophecies? And the thing is, is that you, you, you can't, because like I said, <clears throat> we can think something. We can, we can think we got to figure it out, but the law will say, nope. He'll do something totally different than, than, than what we had thought. And like I said, I didn't seen some of the best theologians that deal with eschatology. And they all would tell you that, hey, you know, this is not we, we're taking, you know, our hermeneutics. But we still know that it's not ironclad because the Lord still can bring about these things how he want to bring about. You know, we can think again, we can think in one way and it's totally something else. Yeah, we could listen. Like the Bible say, you know, love them. I agree with some people in here. We could try to, you know, walk and, and, and you know, just have mutual respect because they are in the Imago day. But clearly, we're, we're, we're two different. And, 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 and here's the thing, too. One we're more two thing. One more thing. The, the Lord didn't say we need to sit here and try to figure out his prophecies. No, he didn't. No, he uh, didn't. He no, he told didn't. us to go out and make disciples. That's right. That's, that's right. what he told us to do. All that's Bible right there. Not lift up nation, not bring, not gather together Israel. If they said he they supposed to wake them up, let him wake them up. But for far as all that other stuff, he ain't, that stuff ain't in the book for us. That ain't that ain't our instructions. That ain't the Great Commission, our instruction. Them ain't our instructions right there. They got their whole and but they got they they got their hermeneutic and how they bring it together and what they see for them. Let them go ahead with that awakening. That, if that's for them, that's good. That's for them. But like Pastor Ryan said, now y'all don't come around and start bringing that above everybody, throwing that prophecy around and running up in churches and and doing all this, doing all this other stuff. Uh uh. Uh uh-uh. uh, y'all go ahead and do y'all go ahead in the street and preach that all Israel killing up each other, the BET award, all Israel on the block selling dope, murdering, all Israel running them up. Y'all don't bother the church people run out there in that Israel. Run to the whole, y'all got the whole down south, y'all got the whole hood in Brooklyn, y'all got the whole Florida, y'all gotta go go run up on all the black folk. Plenty black folk don't go to church. Run up on sign net and them and tell them they Israel and wake them up and bring them to the truth. But d- what y'all talking, do not bring that in the Lord's house, do not bring that in the Christian church. We God against that. That is not us. They this these this teaching, this teaching right here ain't us. I love Israel. I love y'all. Y'all know I'd have tried my best to help y'all just to hear y'all out. But the more y'all talk, the more we hear, the more we know that this is something different. And there's a whole world to evangelize. Mormons ain't bothering us. Mormons out there doing their thing. Y'all don't bother us. Y'all get out there and just do y'all thing. Don't run up in Christian groups. Don't run up in Christian churches. Don't spend your time talking to Christians. Go out there and wake Israel up. If the, if your if we got the Great Commission and y'all got the y'all got the awakening, go out there and wake up the world. Wake up the world. Let me pull up that other thing. They, 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 the IUIC, they in Korea. They translate in Korea. Go, go, go evangelize the planet. Japan, go wake up Israelites all over the world. Y'all, y'all, it's a great job y'all got. Don't bother us. That's all I'm saying. And it's no disrespect. Don't come around and bother us. Folk got their Christmas tree. Leave them folk alone with their tree. Don't come into church. Don't go to Christian groups. Don't come around talking to us about nothing about the Lord Moses. It's a whole world out there. Do like the Mormons do and get that world. Do like Scientologists do and go get that world. Don't come into church trying to bother us with your doctrine. We're different people. And we'll let Christ work it out in the end. I, my whole position has changed. I ain't even a dispensationalist no more messing around with these folk. I ain't worried about no thousand year reign. He'll work all that out when he get here. We're going to stop this nonsense. We're going to stop it today. Y'all can't bother us. Now y'all going to say he's stopping awakening. Because don't come around. Nobody's claiming to be a Christian. Don't come around them with that talk. Don't come around them with that talk. It's enough people out there in that street that y'all can put the awakening on them. Y'all bless you great. If you think that awakening is of y'all, y'all go ahead and preach that awakening and wake Israel up in the streets and leave the church alone. Go ahead. I'm you myself. I'm just going to say this. And, and remember... We got a 2,000 year head start. Amen. Shots fired. Shots fired.
All I know is uh, all I know is uh, Sister Cherry don't need my help to stop the awakening. All, that's all I know. <laughs> Y'all always throwing me in it. <laughs> <laughs> 